Hi everyone, welcome into um, Sean Gosman 26. I am Sean. I hope um, where you are, the weather's good, and where I am in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We've had a little bit of snow, but not like some of the country. But um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about why I, today about why I like the Paralympics. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to compete in sports. Um, but because of my cerebral palsy, I didn't think this was possible. When I, when I was a lot younger, um, I competed in Special Olympics for many, many years. But um, as I got older, um, it wasn't a competitive the competitive venue I was looking for. Although I su uh, support Special Olympics and everything in sense for, I think it's a great organization. I was looking for something more competitive. Um, but, you know, obviously because of my wheelchair and because of my CP, I can't play football, basketball, and baseball, but I love those sports. Um, I watch those sports all the time, but I can't play them. I also um, enjoy weightlifting, and um, I was in Shotokan for a little while when I was a teenager. But um, about two and a half, three years ago, um, I found out about the uh, adaptive sports though through watching stuff on YouTube and I had seen the documentary Murder Ball with Mark Lupin which uh, follows um, MTV follows their Paralympic journey uh, they play quad rugby and then I, um, I'm the type of guy, I'm always doing uh, re research and looking up videos to inspire me because, you know, a lot of you might think uh, I inspire you, but a lot of the stuff I see um, inspired me and so uh, I gain my inspiration uh, from other people just like many other people gain their inspiration for me. Um, so anyway, about two years ago, I was watching the Paralympics on TV. Uh, I mean, on the internet, sorry, because they weren't on the uh, TV until last year. They were covered by NBC Sports for the first time when they had the last one. They covered all of it. But at this time, it was on the computer. And I've always loved the Olympics. Ever since I was five or six years old, I wanted to be an Olympian, but because of my challenges, I didn't think it was possible. And then I found out about the Paralympics. And um, it, it had a little box on the Paralympics site that said, if you want to, um, if you want to join, uh, find a Paralympic club in your area, put in your zip code and, um, put in your zip code and we'll tell you the nearest Paralympic facility in your area. Um, lo and behold, it was the Center for Individuals with Physical Challenges here in Tulsa, Oklahoma on ni uh, 9th in Utica. Um, they were having a Paralympic event that next weekend. Um, I came in, did the um, Paralympic experience. They had um, some guy, some people come down and uh, teach us how to play bocce and stuff. I was hooked. Um, I, I joined I joined um, the center 
and become a member. Right away, I joined their fitness center. I started playing bocce. Originally, what I wanted to do was Paralympic powerlifting. But when I came to the center, they didn't have Paralympic powerlifting. I helped um, build the program and gain interest since I've been there. So we're, we have a program now and we're trying to build it. I also play power soccer, but you know, um, like I said before, uh, sports can teach us a lot about life and life lessons and life values and you guys no, I'm a Christian, and I believe God can do just a lot through his sports. And I, I just love um, the idea of the Paralympics because I like to really, I'm a competitive person, so I like to really compete. And if I do something, if I uh, win a competition, I wanted to be because I gave my best and I really competed against, you know, um, some um, good competition. That's why I like the Paralympics and uh, uh, it's my dream to one day represent the U.S. on a Paralympic team either in uh, Bocce, weightlifting, or um, power soccer, or some other sport. Um, I've loved um, working out since I was a sophomore in high school. I trained at my um, school gym um, with my weightlifting coach, Coach Roberts. I also joined another gym called Mikey's Gym that used to be right down the street from where I live. And um, so I've just always loved the physicality of weightlifting. I love the, the mental game of bocce. And uh, I love um, power soccer. Power soccer is just like regular soccer. You put a plastic guard on your chair and you hit the um, ball with your um, chair, and you have goalies, you have forwards, all the regular positions of um, soccer. But you push the ball into the net, and you guys know what um, curling is. Um, curling is where you take what's called a stone and it's played on ice and you try to roll it into the bullseye and then you try to get as many stones as you can as close into the middle circle as you can. With bocce ball, you have a, you have two teams, usually a red team and a blue team and then you have a white ball which is called a jack ball. And then each team, uh, each team tries to get as many of their um, balls as close as they can as the white ball. You play the 11 points, and that's each round is called the end. You have three rounds, and the first one to 11 wins. I've gotten to play in a few tournaments. Uh, last year I went to the Mid-American Games and I got third place in the uh, BC Ram Bocce. I played a, uh, against a guy named Austin Hansen who went to the London uh, Paralympics in 2012 and got a gold medal. And uh, I learned a lot from him. This year I'm going to go to the Mid American Games and compete in wheelchair slalom and bocce again, and I will com uh, be also probably competing 
in the Endeavor Games, which is the largest uh, Paralympic competition in the United States. You know what? You know what I like about the Paralympics is it just shows people that even though people have challenges, they're still able to live a productive, ordinary life. You know, just like anybody else. They're um, they're able to get married, have kids, have a family, have a job. You know, I also uh, want to be a motivational speaker and uh, travel around the uh, world and share my message of hope and inspiration with as many people as I can. Um, so, um, if you would like information about me as a speaker, you can visit me at seangodsman26 on, at gmail.com. I'm also at, on Facebook under Sean Lewis Motivational Speaker uh, on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter under the same name and uh, Instagram. So if you would like me to come tell you part of my story, I would love to do it. You know, and even if uh, Paralympic sports isn't your thing, find something that um, you love to do. Find something that inspires you. Find something that encourages you and go after it with your heart. I love um, the camaraderie, the camaraderie of sports, and I love um, what it teaches you about endurance, perseverance, and everything. I love to, to listen to different books on, you know, different athletes and different Paralympic athletes, because that inspires me. Um, you all know. By Amy Purdy, she's a snowboarder. She won Dancing with the Stars. She just written her uh, latest book. I also have read uh, Blade Runner by Oscar Pistorius before um, before he, um, all that situation with his girlfriend happened and maybe. Uh, Murdering his wife, which is a very sad and unfortunate thing, because I looked up to him uh, for everything he accomplished. But you know, uh, just you know, find something that makes you happy, and then God will give you a way to do it, even if you see no way. Because when I was a kid, I really didn't see a way for me to compete, but uh, there is always a way. I hope you have a great day, wonderful day, and God bless. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe, and please leave comments at the bottom, and uh, if you want to, and I will talk to you later. God bless. Bye.